Hello, everybody. Uh, we have finally returned. Sorry it's been so long. Eh, well, I don't really have any kind of excuse. Just <laughs> haven't recorded in a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to check some stuff out, get my bearings. And don't need you. There we go. Jeez. All my full heels. I'd still say we're doing pretty good. So last time, we had a certain friend crawl by here. And, of course, since this is video games, we gotta follow him. Because well, why not? Why, why not follow this big, gigantic alligator, crocodile, monster? Yeah? Why not? For reals. Okay. Let's keep running. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. No. I will never turn back. You're stuck with me to the end. <laughs> never give up, never surrender. So, this is where it gets fun. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. <laughs> of course. This thing's gonna attack us. I mean, why not? It's right next to him. And of course. Leon! Get out of there! So yeah, we do the awesome thing of running to towards the screen. So left. Left again. Left, right, left. Pretty simple. It never changes, so don't worry. Come on. Keep running, Leon. I love this part. And then... Bam! Gangsta. And then if you get too close to the guts... Ugh, get pushed by the guts. Yay, more grenades. Really simple. Uh, some people kind of complain about this boss fight. I, I can kind of see. I can and I can't because that was kind of the original optimal way of taking out the. Uh, that was the original way of taking out the uh, alligator. Because, yeah, you could just pump bullets into it like tons. Or there was just like a little. In the original game, there was kind of like a tiny. Like a. Well, I mean, this is just a big gas line. The, that one was like a. Um, yeah, oxygen tank, something like that. Not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. But um, yeah, it was sa same thing. You just run to a corner, like you you push a button. It was it was like kind of like on the wall. Like think of it almost like a fire extinguisher. You just run up to it, click it, and then like the canister would drop, and then the alligator would munch on the oxygen canister, or whatever, and you just shoot him. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Yeah. Sort of. Speaking of... I don't... Okay, yeah, we got everything in here. And a hot hat. Uh, hard hat, not hot hat. We'll just make a simple save. Why not? I don't like doing bosses over again. That's just never, that's just not my thing. So yeah, speaking of Annette. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Uh, Stop. She's doing the whole, uh, evil within. Ouch. 
Got hurt. You'll never get the G virus. Yeah, she's a little crazier this time. I didn't expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. So yeah, she's a little crazier now. She's not the... Well, she's not the, uh, kind of nerdy mom. And of course, this is always a good part. The facility in pursuit of Annette. I always like her dress. On her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. So yeah, now we get you to play as Ada. Hide, but you can't hide. And yeah, she's pretty, she plays just slightly different. So her thing, so yeah, if we try to climb up the ladder. Yeah, she has this magic gadget kind of thing going on. Uh, EMF visualizer. I think it's pretty almost. Well, it's not the same. Secret weapon time. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't know why I thought she's thought she hid it in her between her uh, between her other guns. But yeah. See what, what the whole thing is. You got to find the wire, and then just hold down, hold it down. And yeah, this is much different from last time. Because before you actually climb into the... That part sucked. On the original game, you actually had to climb through this. The vent, the, the fans and everything. Candy from a baby. But the thing that sucked about it, so... You saw those little, little cockroaches in the morgue earlier? Like, the entire place would be filled with these guys. And like, they could act... If they, if like, I think like... Yeah, these dudes. But they were all, they were all across. Like, it was just stepping on cockroaches the whole time. It sucked. Because, yeah, if you, basically what happened if you, um, I think it was like six or more would corner you. Like, you, you, you could not stop here. If you stopped, like, six or, I think six or eight, it was a lot of them cornering you. But, like, it'd actually be an instant kill. Which was nuts. Little cockroaches would just kill you. And it sucked. Like, honestly, I wouldn't get that close in real life. But, uh, we have our second puzzle down here. And now green is good. I think it's like that. Okay. Because I would suggest doing that right away because this guy wakes up. And yeah, there's actually a... Yeah, it's kind of nuts. There's an actual um, achievement here for getting... Uh, for not firing a bullet in here. And it's, it's really tough. So yeah, go around this. Rip your secret gun. This person's gonna fall. Um, also, I said if you're not confident, grab some bullets. Grab some, grab a defense weapon. Actually, screw this. So yeah, we'll do that. And haul ass. Run! Yep, okay. Usually sometimes that guy likes to stay there. Okay, and we're good. What's up, Annette? Always been good at running, Annette. 
So, this is where it gets fun. Look who's here. Persistent bastard, aren't you? Uh, and I'm trying to remember where it was. So if you're good enough, later, Mr. X. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really like Mr. X in this, or, well, technically, well, his real, real name, real, uh, model name is a, t a Tyrant T-103, to be exact. Oh, yeah. Do yourself a favor. Give that a save. But yeah, it's, it's fun. I love I love them just introducing Mr. X into these fun little parts because, yeah, doing that while well, Mr. X is kind of like, hey man, what's up? Is a lot of fun. I think there's some stuff down here. No, nope. never mind. But yeah, they oh they really did a good job on this game. And this is just this is yeah September inspection week two. With the new rest band that just arrived, we finally begun our survey of the demolition area as to the report to the other day about the incinerator. It's nothing really. Probably just a large piece of over le leftover trash. I'll go take a look for myself after I wrap up this report. So. It's all about wrist- well, you saw the wristbands. This is how we get our wristband. But yeah, I just- oh, Mr. X is fun. He, he just makes everything, well, he, he makes things hectic, but that's kind of the fun of it. He just adds a lot of stress to you. So yeah, here's our... Oh yeah, also notice all these different wires and such, so... That'll be important. So, we got our ID wristband. And of course... Get locked in here. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. So, let's get out of this incinerator. So, first of all, we activate that. Follow the yellow wires. Yeah, I've died a few times on this, so don't worry if you do die. Let's see, change the... And there's one more. There we go. That's it. Simple when you when you know how to do it. So, but don't don't feel bad if you've died here. I've died a few times because it, it got a little confusing. She's doing initially. But yeah. Visitor clearance confirmed. So yeah. Your ID is authorized until October first. Please return before this date. Not gonna happen. Yeah, nothing at the end there. But yeah, it's kind of not. It, it's. I said I have to do a little more research on the technology of 1998, <laughs> but I'm like, we probably did have RFID badges. I mean, everything's changed so far, a lot so far. Still made me laugh. I mean, me and my cousin uh, Colby, we were talking about like old phones, like our like some of our first phones. I'm like, man, what the hell? <laughs> Even computers today. We were looking at old computers and like looking at specs and like, man, these suck <laughs> compared to today. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. <laughs> you didn't win. You didn't Tell win. Me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for G? Interesting theory. You don't cooperate. I'll get a sample from the nest. Over my dead body. Oh, shit. Ah! 
Oh, she. Okay, so <laughs> she's like gonna like telepathically summon him like uh, Professor Xavier. <laughs> Leon, I need your help. So the funny thing is, that's where Sherry was. So that's kind of the thing I said. I like this game, but the the weird continuity of everything kind of makes things sillier because it's like. He, what happened here? Did Sherry get out first and then you fought Birkin and then he came back to <laughs> There's a, a lot of weird stuff, but as I said it's just shut up Whatever because like the A and B scenario on uh, the ps1 game re 298 were way different But this is fine. I still like this game It's good. I still love it so where we got everything. Oh yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. And we're locked out, but because she was nice enough to turn do some stuff, I'm I'm not even sure, hundred percent what she did. We can finally get up here. Make another save. I know. I'm saving a little bit more. Just because, like, I don't know. Saving is free in this game. So there's nothing wrong with it. Damn it, I need to find some... I think the next thing I need to find is some shotgun ammo stuff. That way... Yeah, shot, shotguns the is the MVP of this game. Shotguns always my MVP. Uh, I think there's something here. Yeah. So yeah, we got a decent amount of bullets now. And you know what's gonna happen here. So, <laughs> also, it always made this game funny. Is like. Leon's got a big wound on his shoulder, and just like, let's just climb in all this gross-ass sewage, you know? I always kind of find, found that stuff funny. Oh, I thought I heard something. What the hell did I have here? Maybe I just had a bunch of grenades. I think here's our first experience with these guys. Oh no, this is going down. Oh no. Just swipe out your legs. And you turn up there. It just slice your face. Okay. Ugh, good old knife.
Okay. Just making sure. Okay. So, same plan, same everything. Just like before. Ah, damn it. I missed my shot. Slash them legs. And he's going to turn on his stomach. You're not going to fool me, man. Okay. They're officially dead. Okay, now to fight the baby G's. Or little G's. G transformations or whatever the hell they call them. I just call them baby G's. Because cause William Birkin, he's the big G. He's big G. Oh, yeah. Let's keep looking. Might find a grenade or so. Oh, never mind. Not gonna find shit. So, yeah. If things get hairy, we'll sacrifice our knife that we just used a bunch. Then some of that blue herb. <sighs> ah, make more shotgun. Good. Yeah, we might get hit with this, but we'll find out. Run off to the side. Haha. -ha. And yeah, good. So, zombies are the only things that can open up wall um doors and all that kind of stuff. Other than that, you're clear for the most part. And I'm trying to think. Interesting. If this, I'm trying to think if this um, area is because last time had tons of zombies. Not this time. So yeah, that's some differences. Oh yeah. Can I see her? So yeah, that's one that's one thing I also like playing about Leon's campaign is yeah, stuff like this. And same locker, same code. So Z F. And good old Magnum rounds. We're gonna need them for later. If anything, uh, this might be tough because I might have to fight a G monster to get some. I usually don't like to, but if we got the Magnum early, I'd like to. I'd like to Magnum it up. And again, we'll probably be saving that for the final bosses. I mean, you. you Leon's is a lot simpler. You can easily beat this game on um, with just pistol and shotgun. That's usually how I do it. It's generally how I roll. So again, there's Ada. Get our map. Uh, we have a 
We have a VHS this time. Look at that tiny... Look at that gigantic VCR with the VHS. Mm-hmm. That is exactly what happened. So let's clear some inventory. Actually, I'm gonna grab my magnum for a sec. Actually, no. Dang it. That's what I should have done. Magnum. And then we'll grab a big piece of gunpowder. So, first things first. I do love this magnum. Good old Desert Eagle. With the big gigantic... Big gigantic barrel on there. So. Reload. Reload that. Put a full magnum back in. Plus what's left. Um... Store that. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. And again, we give another save. Always want to make sure you save. Always save. And then, same stupid puzzle. Rare. And the only bummer is like some some of them have been just flat out been ripped off. Some of them still have the same, but like I think one of them was a lie too. It's weird. Yeah, like said we'll get through it. Um, yeah. Gotta hit that. Oh man. I hate when you like you need to sneeze. Ugh, oh, much better. And through the magic of editing, you'll never hear my big loud ass sneeze. So we got you, we got the T-Crank again. Oh, one kind of lame thing I also don't like about this, because in the original game, they, they at different points, they would actually talk to each other with the, the radio, Claire and Leon. But this one is just, hey, Cl hey Leon, got a detour, help some girl I found. If I don't save her, hate to think what might happen. You go on ahead, you're almost out of the city now. Don't worry about me, I'll make it out, promise. Claire. I, I this for cable car shut, shut up. I'm not a big fan of that just because I I just find it kind of lame. So again, same same safe, same everything. So don't you worry about it. 